what is going on fellow rocket league enthusiasts i am i was just you know scrolling on on twitch today and i noticed some people are doing some international scrimming uh this is a scrim between endpoint and team bbs uh courtesy of relating wave he is currently streaming no audio so it's just going to be me talking so you know uh, i've never casted anything before so i don't know if i'm going to try and cast or i'm just going to kind of talk casually over like one of the games here but the series is currently 3-3 in the scrim um i'm not sure when it will end but uh that's how this game's gonna end in overtime relating waves scoring a little little cheeky doink to an own goal um bds and endpoint are both teams that i see being like the third and fourth teams um in terms of like potential to win the fall major i'd say endpoint like in terms of winning the fall major i'd say potential goes top dignitas second vitality just because of all of their land experience and then third endpoint and then fourth pds and then fifth semper nothing against either of these teams they're obviously a top 16 team in the world guaranteed easily um probably both top 10 relatively easily as well so we're gonna get into what would be game eight technically um and we're just gonna watch a game a, like a scrim game from endpoint and bds today i know johnny boy is watching um cj or yeah renegades and vitality right now i think i just don't feel comfortable broadcast like recording over his stream whereas like wave is just playing the game not giving any commentary or anything like that and like johnny boy is like physically spectating within like the game client Whereas I'm just watching a stream. No disrespect or no like gel. You know, I mean a little jealous, but you know what I mean. So Monkey Moon's gonna pass it over to Mark by eight in the middle. A little backboard potential, but Metsnorse and Seiko are both up. Metsnorse playing out of the corner. It's gonna be kind of hard to cast this from Wave's like point of view, just because I can't see what everything's going on. But Seiko's gonna get this in the middle, maybe try and drop it down to Wave. Nah, it's going straight over. Mark's gonna clear it out. Wave's gonna turn, but he's gonna have fake challenge and then just play it slow to buy his time some like chance to get boost, I guess. Even though Metza kinda turned up field. Metza misses on the wall though. This is dangerous. Yeah, Monkey Moon's got that the whole way. Yeah, Metza missed that on the wall, left Wave in a bad spot. And they're not gonna watch any replays because it's scrims. <laughs> but 1-0 BBS now. A little pop-up. Metza should be up for that. Mark's met him up there real fast. Both very speedy to get up there. Seiko's going to take this kind of slow, I feel like. Kind of try and dribble it around the defense. Kind of feel out what BDS is looking like right now. They are seven games deep. So, I feel like they've both felt each other out. Now they're just kind of like going through the... They're getting the muscle memories down. They're getting the habits of good ball placement. Good, like, flip mechanics. Good rotations against one another. Figuring out, like, how the other team likes to play. So... Plus, BDS and Endpoint have played plenty of times throughout the recent history. So these scrims are probably nothing new to them. Except Seiko going for a little ground pitch there. Almost outplaying the defense. Gotcha, Trying to keep in this half, but Wave is demoed on his attempt to go up the wall. Now, Endpoint was struggling to get back, but they managed to make it clear. No possession held, but Wave, Wave gets a... Good challenge there. Metza met it in the middle. Oh, Seiko almost put that one in. Mark's going to take it up the wall. He's going to go for an air dribble here. Get it over Wave. Nah, Wave meets him up there. Nice. Monkey Moon goes for a little cheeky shot, but Metza was there. Extra. Trying to just keep it into the corner. Maybe keep the possession alive, but Seiko's got a big clear coming out. Metza into the corner. Monkey Moon. It's always there. Wave tries to get a 50. Unfavorable for him. Monkey Moon just allowed to keep going down the side there to end points half of the pitch. Seiko get a little 50 over Mark. Over to Wave in the middle. No boost to finish this. If he had like 40 boost in the tank, Wave gets that. Or at least he gets that for a chance to, to put it in the BDS net. But gets over Monkey Moon. Seiko's in the middle. Ooh. It's a good, it was a good try. This wave just punt this. Yeah, no no possession kept. He was going to get challenged pretty hard there. Go for a demo. Misses it. But he's in the corner for a pass to Metza. Oh, just over him. Metza was going a little too fast, I feel like. Had he waited a second, he would have known where wave was going to pass that. 
and then Seiko's just left alone on defense and Monkey Moon's got a, an easy backboard read here for a double tap. 2-0 BDS, game eight, going for a series tie here potentially. I feel like scrims go for an hour or if it's a like best of nine, like first to five. Um, waves up, a little backboard. Monkey Moon's got the read though. Seiko's here, pass over to Wave. Wave's got this, take a little air dribble. Flip over extra. Oh, he fakes it. Goes for a 50. Maybe Seiko's waiting for a favorable favorable bounce there. Seiko's over Monkey Moon, but he gets bumped off the ball. Waves up. Tries to go for a double. Misses. But Seiko's there to put it in. Upper 90. Top right. Bring a one goal game back. Seiko's up for this. Over in the middle. Nice. Wave gets the demo. I don't know if he wants that. I feel like they'd rather have him just be bumped instead of a respawn with 30 boost, but can't really pick and choose where you demo people all the time. Oh, this is dangerous. Yep, good placement by Monkey Moon. Wave was coming across the net. Should have been a little bit slower, but had to play the shot. Decided to play it far post instead of near post. That's a great placement. I, Seiko had it covered on that way, but just not enough boost in the tank. Two goal game again. Wave goes right for boost. Seiko's there. Seiko gets the middle boost, too. A little musty flip. Oh. He wanted to double off the side there. Metza up for a quick pinch. Over to Wave. Wave's got a shot. A little wide. Extra's on the backboard waiting for him. Wave bumped on the rotation back. Trying to get that middle boost, probably, so Extra can't get it. Or Mark. I think it was Mark. Extra was on the back, on the back line. Extra, does he have the read on that? Not really. Good thing Mark's there. Meta up, a little drop down. Mark's going for demos. Mark's Mark's being a menace. Oh, Wave has got to be mad at Mark right now. That's two times in a row. Could be a good, could have been a good transition out of defense on the offensive half for endpoint, but Mark demoed Wave. That was a close play there. Does Wave have the shot? Oh, Monkey Moon with the crazy save. 15 seconds. You have to score now. Yeah, this is this is it right here. Last chance. Oh, oh no! Everyone was expecting Mark to clear that out. Oh, GGS. But yeah, that was that was a good game. Close. Monkey Moon popped off four saves. Holy crap! Um, but thank you so much for guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed just seeing what an international scrim kind of looks like. This is just you know preemptively stuff that they're doing before the fall major. Um, scrimming against every team that they can. I get that this is EU versus EU, but again, they need to be ready to play anybody in this tournament. The Swiss stage is going to be brutal. The playoff bracket's going to be brutal. And of course, if you make it to Championship Sunday, you already know the stakes. Once again, thanks you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.